Listen, y'all said, well, we have a new year, a new decade in 2020. We're just going to start canceling people. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of these people, you should have been canceled. We've been telling you about some of these folks, but you didn't want to hear us. Oh, no, 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 no. They're apologizing. They're sorry. They're doing better, right? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, welcome to the new segment of my channel. We're finally getting into some drama. Cue the theme. Listen. for tuning in. Do me a favor, hit that like button, that share button, and that subscribe button. Nah, for the Rant Pack family, what it do, what it do. Y'all know we have a new feature with Patreon that just launched today on July the 1st. It's the Rant Pack Movie Club. Each week, we're going to watch a new movie together or an old movie, whatever we decide through the polls that I'm going to post on my Patreon. And you get to decide. And once we have the decision made, we're all going to watch together and dissect the movie as a group. That link is provided in the description. I'm also on Cameo as well. And if you want to donate to the channel, please and thank you. Uh, it's Cash App, Dollar Sign, Rants, Venmo, Mad Ash Rants, PayPal.me forward slash Mad Rants. Now, I bought a new microphone so I could avoid the sounds of this house and everything else in between because y'all always are talking about the sound being crazy. So I purchased this microphone and this little bitch don't work. <laughs> I'm assuming it has something to do with the cord because there are times when I've been able to do this with it and it'll pick up on my audio, but I need to go to the store and possibly purchase a new aux cord in order to make sure that happens. So if you hear anybody talking today, if you hear any loud noises or anything like that, I apologize. I cannot help it. This is a household full of other creators, and this is currently my situation. Oh, but what is this new segment, Maddie? And I'm going to put my headphones on for this one because I want you to hear me. This is a new segment to the channel called She Ain't. Now, She Ain't can also refer to he or she. These are all gender neutral reads. I will spend at least 10 minutes to 15 minutes of my time giving you at least five examples of why these people are either being canceled, why I can't stand them, or what, what our issue is with these folks. Okay? This will be a once a week drama filled sort of session of shade and reading. Now, if this is someone that you like and you don't care for, you have all the time in the world to move around. I see how many of you cared for my last RuPaul's Drag Race video. <laughs> This is all just opinions. This is all for shits and giggles. Some of this has truth to it, but you take this information and do what you need to do with it. All right, this is officially a Twitch conversation. No, let, no, let, 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 let's get into this. Now, a lot of you are currently up to date or are aware that Shane Dawson is in a lot of boo-boo. Uh, Jeffree Star is also a part of this mixture. This was all Dramageddon part one. This had to do with James Charles. I need to sincerely apologize to James Charles because I got on a video and was like, Miss Fig, are you for real? And it wasn't for real. It was some made up mess that two sissies put together and brought in a woman who is obsessed with lighting, okay, to say what they wanted to say, but have her do it and be the face behind it. Almost like if those two had did it, if either one of them had done it, there had been more digging involved. But because this lady over here enjoys a good summer glow with her lighting, we can believe her. But in actuality, that was all a lie. That, that, <laughs> that was all made up drama. Made up by somebody who is trying so hard to make sure they have all the right colors for foundation in their collection, while the other one is, it, I can't, okay? But who do I drag first? Do I drag this lady with all this right here, who was more, who at the end of her video made sure to say, I hope I don't lose you guys. Like as if all of this that happened, it, it, it's, it's horrible. But if I lost you, that'd be the worst part. Girl, you got caught up as a grown ass woman in a nice home by these by these queens. 
just say it. Tati, you got wore out by some, you got stunt queened, girl. You really did. You got put, a stunt got pulled on you. But at the same time, I'm not believing everything that you have to say. I'm not taking, uh, how do I put this? She cannot be out of this, okay? Let, let's just say that. She is not out of here. Just because she made this video is not the, you guys, this is what really happened. They made me do this. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 uh. Nope. 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 Be the face, be the body, be the soul or the spirit. Either way, you, you are in this. Okay. But take a break if you need to. I, I hope they possibly demonetize your channel as well. Mm hmm. Because you were a part of it and you pushed that forward. Now you and James are cool and I'm glad to hear you. I don't care. <laughs> But mm, this is not about Tati and the crocodile tears and the, Jackie, I couldn't believe he did those things. You had plenty of time to talk to Jackie. You had plenty of time to make statements. Hell, you could have been posting Black Lives Matters while all this was happening, Miss Tati. But I'm not getting on to you today. I'll get to you later. Maybe next season. But we're talking about Shane Dawson the master manipulator of YouTube, because some of y'all were calling him king of YouTube. No, no, no. She is a master manipulator. Oh, Shane Elena Lane. Shane Elena Lane. Now, Shane has had an interesting career with YouTube. I believe he started with MySpace. I wasn't really there for his early days because I have taste in music and people. It all started via social media and it sort of just blew up and expanded. Um, when I started, when I started watching some of Shane's videos, they were more so into his conspiracy theory stuff, as well as his videos with his boyfriend, Ryland, which I thought was, they were very cute together. And I was sort of on the ride for that story. Okay. And I liked seeing him working with other YouTubers and telling their stories. I didn't know too much about Shane Dawson outside of what the, I wouldn't say a porcelain outside, honey. I, I'd say a fuzzy, a fuzzy. Fuzzy Kiwi. Yeah, there we go. A fuzzy Kiwi, as, as much as I could see with Shane Dawson. Oh, uh, I noticed some things that were concerning to me with specific people he was working with, Jeffree Star being one of them. Um, but Shane didn't seem to be problematic until things started to surface. Uh, the first thing I noticed, and I posted this, I think, last year, was uh, pictures of Shane in blackface several times. There's actually a, a particular RuPaul Drag Race queen who right now says she's learned and done better, but I won't wear her shirt anymore because she as well did something in blackface. And to me, it's like, why did you need to be told years later or realizing that now to know that that was wrong? Like that was inherent, inherently wrong. Like there is no missing that. But um, in this situation with Shane, Shane had did a lot of, okay, you know, he tried to, you know how it is with people who think of black people as only being ghetto because of what they see on media, et cetera, and you know, what they want to assume of things, you know, just like they only think black people are only one color, you know, cause apparently that's the case. But this time I said, oh no, 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 no. This is out of line and this is wrong. And I made a post about it and several people came to his defense. He's changed. So we're just going to cancel everybody that does something in their past and they ask for forgiveness. Are we just going to do all that? Okay, I hear you. And I'm also a person about forgiveness too. I'm a, I am a Libra for crying out loud. However, there is an issue or an issue at place here. Okay. It's that this isn't the first time he's done this. And it's also more than one occasion and where these things take place. So now I get to go through the reasons here. And I'm posting pictures because I have receipts. Shout out to American Richard for the shirt. Love you. Uh, blackface Shane. Boom. There it is. There she go. Mm-hmm. These were all for fun. This was just skits, everybody. There is no harm done here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm just having a good time. You know, I don't know anything about black people, black culture, black struggles. I know nothing of the sorts. I've never taken an African-American studies class, but I'm going to paint my face in this good old melanin brown right here. What color was that, Shane? What color was that? What wig are you using, girl? Is that, Wait a minute. Did you go to the beauty supply shop in the hood and get that wig so it was authentic, mama? Where would that sweater come from? You get that at the Goodwill, girl? Go on somewhere, you old nasty little tassel bitch. 
Shane and blackface. That happened. Number two. I saw this recently. I will try to post this clip. If it's not posted, look in the description. But here is a picture. Whoop. Do you know that Shane Dawson was on somebody's either uh, online radio show, podcast, something that, you know, was trying to be inherently funny. They, they were trying to be funny. You know how people like to do things like make a joke and look around the room to see if someone laughed. That was that kind of bit. But I believe they were doing an offensive joke take. And the name that popped up or, or, or situation was Trayvon Martin. And Shane's response to him being shot and murdered was, well, maybe if he had a job, he wouldn't have been walking in the streets. As a matter of fact, let me play the sound clip now so you know I'm not BSing you. I'd also like to say that Steve Green of Steve Green Comedy, we're looking at you too, bitch, because you facilitated this motherfucking shit. And that right there ain't it. That's not it, baby. Not... <laughs> Of the privilege, yeah. So there was a whole section or a segment on his little show called Talking Sh with Challenge with Shane Dawson and some girl named Nikki Somebody. If y'all know her name, post it because she's a part of this too. If you're in the room when this happens and you don't call out the BS, you're facilitating the fuckery. So I'm playing this clip for you right now so you can listen and hear. And I'm putting my mic as close as I can to the audio so we won't have any issue. But here we go. Pretty ratchet. This girl's now we already have a, we've already got one mistake here. You said ratchet. Why? What? What is that? What about that word? White people. Do you think is necessary or needed in describing things to do with all black people or if situations of color? I'd like for that word to be not used anymore, to be honest with you, because it feels like the word was taken from us and just completely obliterated along with many other words. But this is not that conversation. Oh, he looks less depressed in this one. Hmm. Maybe because he, oh, this was five years ago. He had no idea all his stuff was about to be exposed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to make a video that family's I on. can't do it about Jesus. Oh. oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trayvon Martin. <laughs> well, maybe you wouldn't been walking this, around the streets if you had a job. It's a game, you old piece of shit. Bad built motherfucker, I said it. He is built like the wrong side of a garden house. Do you understand that's impossible to do? It's four walls and a roof. Bitch, you look like you are built on sand. This is not a game. Black people dying is not a game. Black people being murdered by people is not a game. People being murdered in general is not a game. It's not a game. And the first joke you thought about was him needing to have a job, this young man, in order to <laughs> not be killed in the street. Matthew, it's just comedy. Don't take it seriously. Fuck you. And everybody else that thinks that with this kind of stuff. You know, it's funny where we can say certain things, but we can't say other stuff too. No, baby, pull up the list. Let's, get, let's, keep, it, let's keep it real, real here. But this would just be another example for you in case you're like, well, why should I feel this way, Matthew? And why is everyone angry? This right here was enough for me. But there's more. Next on our list. Oh, and there will be a list for everybody that we use here. Um, can we talk about how Shane Dawson described a six-year-old as sexy? Link is in the description. Shock value, y'all. Oh, I just want to be funny. Oh my God, I just, I'm just being funny. I'm just being funny. I'm just being funny. Queen, you are tired and you're gross. You did something racist, uh, ableist and murdering of black people. And now, now, <laughs> a pedophile. My God, I mean, what are you going for, girl? Like, what is the, what is the award system here? <laughs> and you're not in jail? Oh, okay. Hmm. It was just a joke. Okay, mama. I know girls who are in jail now for just walking across the street. I know people who are dead now for just trying to pull their cell phones out their pockets. But you're funny. So, <laughs> girl, let me put the, the whole link for that nasty situation here, mama, because I couldn't believe he has said that type of stuff. And I refuse to post the video or have any audio clippings of that if that's up. I'm not, nope, nope, nope. I don't, mm, I don't play with that kind of stuff. 
Oh God, that was just three. I feel like I named more things in between all this stuff, but we have two more to go. Uh, second to last here, let's just be very clear with Shane Dawson in terms of he picks and chooses who he works with and who he is trying to promote. Have you noticed that everybody who he was trying to give a second chance at one point in time or another had did something really racist or wrong in their past? <clears throat> like, let me be your savior and make sure that no one cancels you too quickly. Listen, Trisha is like one of the most toxic people ever to be on YouTube, but she wasn't lying. Well, she lies about a lot of stuff, but she wasn't lying about that one. <laughs> I guess for number four, we can do Master Manipulator because you really did put somebody else as the face of your BS to get them in trouble behind a almost a minor. Almost. He's, he's very young and he's very popular and becoming very successful. And I mean, he already is successful, but you and Skeletor put that together. Mm-hmm. I said it. Everyone makes fun of him. You're doing this, Matt. Remember, this is just jokes, people. This is just comedy. Last but not least, he continues to play the victim. I think my... <laughs> God, did you see the video of him? Oh, I'm getting off the internet, everybody. I'm getting off the internet. I'm taking a break. I need to figure this out. You got back on to see Tati. You got back on to react to her video of her calling your ass out. This is the one time the gingerbread man is not going to get across this river. Actually, he didn't make it across in the nursery rhyme either. The, the wolf ate the gingerbread man. Was it a gingerbread man? Hold on. I remember. What was the story again? It was all those animals that hopped on, including a cookie, on some fox's back to cross the river. Oh, yeah. that I got to look that one up. That, oh, that was oh, memories as a child. See, I did think of something positive while Shane Dawson was a discussion. Hmm. He does play the victim like, like, What's happening? It's like I don't know what's going on, and I and, and I um any help, and I, I just I just I just write what's going on here. I just I I I I I I I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this little help help help. I'm not doing this anymore. If there is something going on where he needs to get help, specifically with a therapist, which honestly I think he needs to, and if he already isn't, you need to get another one. You need you need new counsel. Try a black therapist. Shane needs a break. Not just a break, don't come back. And I'm gonna say it just like that. Chill, be behind the scenes, do something else like that. It, I don't wanna see him again. I don't want him to come back. I'm good. Uh, I'm tired of situations with YouTubers doing something wrong and then coming back a year later like as if nothing happened. Whereas I know a lot of black celebrities in general who once they've done it, it's done. Never forgivable, never coming back, this, that, and the other. And we all choose, pick and choose who we want to forgive people for and do this, that, and the other. But it always feels like it's a little bit stronger with folks of color and black people. With that being said, all three of Shane's channels have been demonetized. That was posted the other day by Pop Crave. Shout out to you. Uh, Shane Dawson's three YouTube channels have been demonetized following resurfaced videos of him donning blackface using the N word and more. Oh, yeah, he's. Uh, I almost forgot to mention that. That's another drop that pin in there, not just the blackface. He would say it and try to use it with the A, but then with the R and be like, oh, you know, oh my God, I didn't mean to do it. Like that kind of mess. So. Oh God, I can't stand it. Now, they're saying it's indefinite, but not permanent. And to def help the definition for that for some people, that means that he could be re-monetized tomorrow if they feel like it. It's not permanent. And it needs to be permanent. I, like I said, if we're going to hold people accountable and do this cancel, let's, let's really put the stamp on and give these girls time away from the computer. Now, as far as canceling goes, hey, she needs about a two to three year break before we see him again. Then I don't need to come back. If you want to come back to that, go for it. I'm going to I'm gonna forever have that in my memory, just like how we have with Bill Clinton doing what he did, just how we have with a lot of other people in this world, in this life, or these celebrities who have done something. You, we, we forgive them, but we don't forget stuff. And this is something I'm not going to just let go, okay? Shane Dawson, she ain't shit. All right. 
All right, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. Next week, we're going to dive into mm, Jeffree Star. I low-key want to get into the drag race drama because, mama, some stuff just dropped or it had been dropped and people are now taking it seriously about Miss Sharon Needles. Alaska was involved. Ooh, girl, scandal. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks once again for tuning in. It's your boy, Maddie Rants. Hugs and kisses, my best love and wishes to you. I will see you again next week for more drama. Catch Legendary tomorrow. Catch Drag Race Saturday. And another Sunday live with your boy. Talk to you later. Bye.